friends welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing well so today's video is going to be my february favorites i feel like i literally just did a favorites video but obviously that's because my january favorites video was pretty late so here we are again but i did make sure to save all of my february loves for this video so i do have different things to talk about so i'm just gonna dive right into it so the first couple of things are from amazon we love amazon right so the first thing i got are a pair of sunglasses which i have been loving so i'm actually really into these sunglasses right now that is like aviator kind of like retro sunglasses but they have like a lighter tint to them um they've been trending kind of on instagram with bloggers and stuff like that and i was influenced but of course i'm really into that like you know it's kind of like 90s vibes right now anyway which I'm not mad about. So I did make a purchase for these really expensive sunglasses from a brand that I found on Instagram. So I'm still waiting for them to come in because they're from Australia, but I am so excited. Before I made that purchase, I did purchase a few sunglasses that kind of um, are kind of inspired by that particular look. And I'll show you guys in a haul once I do get those sunglasses. But anyways, I've been into kind of like aviator sunglasses. So they're obviously just classic aviator plastic rim, um, which I prefer plastic sunglasses. And they kind of have a lighter tint as you can see, but I just thought these were really cute. And I've been wanting to wear more sunglasses, especially for my outfit photos so this is what these look like um they kind of have like slightly a light tint the ones that i'm talking about are like almost you can see my eyes and everything like that but i think these are just really cute too yeah these ones are definitely gonna be worn a lot especially on instagram so the next favorite is also from amazon and i just have been obsessed i've been wearing it non-stop it's just so good and i haven't been able to stop wearing it so i picked up this um basic gray zip hoodie i got it a little oversized i didn't want it super oversized so i got it in a size um, men's medium and it's perfect and it's by the brand gildan so really affordable but still great quality for sweats in my opinion it's just so cozy and comfy and just the perfect size and ever since it came in the mail i haven't been able to stop wearing it um i mean it's just a basic zip hoodie but i think that these are like a staple right now and i just i love them so i actually have a few more like the sweatpants and a crew neck sweatshirt the same brand same color to go with it because i love this one so much it's just really comfortable and i don't know it's a, it's definitely a staple essential in my wardrobe um so yeah love that been loving that love amazon sweats so my next favorite are some more sunglasses but these ones i picked up from cotton on i like buying cheap sunglasses so finding them at cotton on was perfect i think they were like two for fifteen dollars so such a great deal um but i don't have anything like these that's why i was just i had to have them so they look like this kind of like the same almost aviator vintage style sunglasses um but yeah i just thought they were really cute and i don't have anything like them i haven't really seen anything like these so i thought these would be fun for spring and summer coming up and especially like i said for instagram photos i feel like i'm pretty shy so when taking photos in public i do get a little bit nervous and sometimes that's why i'm hesitant to take outfit photos so i was like you know what for some reason sunglasses definitely make me feel like invisible it kind of reminds me of the movie if you guys have seen it, i'm sure it's a classic big daddy where he tells um you know the little boy that he's invisible or whenever he gets scared just put on the sunglasses and no one can see him They're like magic and i definitely agree i mean it's still me and people are still going to be watching but i don't know for some reason wearing sunglasses just make me feel a little bit more comfortable when um in public and taking photos and then i have one last pair that have been a favorite of mine and they're these ones but i like the tint i like the color it's kind of like this light brown plastic and i don't know just classic like ray-ban inspired sunglasses so i thought it'd be cute to just have a few in my collection to just kind of switch in and out and i feel like for a while i wasn't really big into wearing like sunglasses and stuff like that but they're actually pretty fun i feel like they spice up any outfit and they make you feel real fabulous you know i didn't ever realize how sunglasses can just 
elevate the vibe, you know? So the next favorite is actually super random, but I wanted to share with you guys because I've been loving it. So it's definitely been a favorite of mine this month. So I picked up these Nike socks and I just love these socks. I feel like number one, they're really nice quality. And especially since I've been into sneakers and Nikes, um, these socks definitely are comfortable and they're just so cute. And I just love the cut of these. I'm not even sure what they're called. I'll link them down below, but they're not the super high ones and they're not like ankle socks, but they go above the ankle. So they're just a little bit shorter. And I just think these look so cute with sneakers and sweats or with bike shorts or just anything. I just love the style of these socks. I feel like they're girly, you know, perfect everyday socks. So I've been really into wearing ponytails more often. As you can see, I feel like in my last couple of videos, my hair has been up in a ponytail. So I decided to pick up the Way Matte Pomade. I have my favorite like edge control and stuff like that for when I'm wearing my hair natural, but it's a totally different vibe when my hair is straight and I just need a different product. I feel like the edge control that I was using wasn't appropriate for straight hair. So it's really good for when my hair is like straight and I don't know, it just does the job. I like to use it to lay down the flyaways, baby hairs, and I use it today. Um, a little bit goes a long way and it's just, it's really nice. It's not sticky, it doesn't like make my hair flake or anything like that. Normally I'm not into the super, super slick ponytails because I feel like it makes my head look a little bit weird. I just needed something to use to make it just a little bit more clean. So this is perfect for that. And I feel like, you know, this looks pretty good. And then I have a couple of products and tools that I use to do my hair, I guess, that I've been really loving. Some of them are very basic, like these two things right here. So like I just have a rat tail comb and then I have this regular basic comb where it has like tighter teeth and then like a little bit bigger teeth. But what I really love about these is that they have like a little hook on them. And so the ones that I've had in the past did not have like this extra gap right here. And it just helps so much with parting your hair. And it just, I don't know, these are just perfect. They're also um, heat resistant. I got these from my local beauty supply and the quality is just really good. I mean, they're literally $2, but the quality is just amazing and all the combs that i've had for years just are not like this and these have definitely made a big difference in making my part and just it's just so much easier to use so i definitely been using these a ton um, with my ponytails and different looks or when i'm like straightening my hair all that stuff so for the pomade for like my edges i love using this edge brush and the one from pattern has been my favorite the only thing that i don't care for about this edge brush is that the bottom is not i mean it's a like kind of like a rat tail comb but it's not the metal one and it just doesn't give like a precise part um it just does like basic parting so i never use this but i would prefer if it had like either another comb or something to help like slick it down i mean you can use this little edge um you can use this little end but I mean, I found other ones from the beauty supply store that have like a better edge. Other than that, I love this brush and the comb. It just, it works so good. It's dense enough and it just lays everything down. I love using this um, with my natural hair and with my straight hair, but I've been using this with the Whey pomade together and it's just worked well for me. So this brush is pretty good. I definitely would recommend it. Um, you can definitely use a toothbrush. You can get these edge brushes from the beauty supply for like 99 cents, a dollar, very, very cheap, but this one works pretty good. And I think it's cause the quality is just obviously you're paying like what, 12, $15 for it. So it better be a little bit better quality, but, um, yeah, I definitely love this edge brush. So I recently picked up this brush from Ulta and let me tell you, it is so good. I don't even know what it's called. Like, I don't even know what this is called, honestly. It's from the brand, it's called Ponytail Pro from Cricut. It works so good to slick back ponytails. It has um, a brush side, which is like a little bit harder bristles to really slick everything down. And then it has a comb side, which just kind of like separates it and just makes the ponytail look so good. So I've been loving this brush. And I also love the fact that you can place your little um, hair ties on this little at the bottom of the handle so that's very convenient just a perfect ponytail go-to and this comb even has a gap on it 
as well so you can even part your ponytail and it's just like a one tool thing so this is definitely a game changer love this brush i wouldn't think you would have so much to say for a brush but you know like when you find a good brush like i keep my stuff for years so this is definitely probably something that's going to be a staple i love this brush um, and then I also have this basic one. I haven't used it yet, but I picked it up from the beauty supply store. I just needed a new one. But these bristle brushes are just also perfect for ponytails. I personally like to use this brush when my hair is natural. This is definitely a staple for ponytails and buns when my hair is natural. So definitely always a favorite but um this is just a brand new one because i needed a fresh one okay so next up are some beauty products but before we get into the beauty products i'm gonna just share this favorite so i have definitely started to um clean out my makeup collection and just have a smaller collection just because i'm not wearing much makeup like that i've never really have um and I just want to have like my staple essential items. I also wanted to just have like one little caddy, so just something I can have for all my like everyday essential makeup that I'm using on a daily basis in one place instead of having like to dig through drawers and stuff like that. So I went to the container store and they have so many different options, but I didn't want to like overdo it. But when I saw this, I was like, you know what? This is perfect. So. The container store, by the way, is also a favorite store of mine. I love it. If you haven't gone to the container store, definitely check it out. But I ended up picking up this little caddy. So it has a handle and it's just perfect to store like my everyday makeup items. So I have my brushes in here. I have my everyday powder, my gloss, bronzer, just things that I reach for on a daily basis. But I just love the fact that I have all of my like everyday go-to makeup products in one spot and I can just carry it around. Also when I'm filming for videos, I can just put all the products that I wanna use in this little caddy and it's perfect. So I love this. I definitely wanna pick up more so I can like have like hair care products in one and stuff like that. I feel like that's just an essential piece to have. It's definitely just helped me feel a little bit more organized and um, yeah, I love the container store. So that's been a favorite for sure just because it's just made my life a little bit more easy like it's the little things you wouldn't even imagine how like that can definitely make life easier but like it does just like on the combs like just a subtle thing makes things so much easier you know so lastly I have a few beauty products to share that have been my favorite so I have to talk about the say beauty products love these items i am a huge fan of say beauty now because ever since i tried these i've just been obsessed this is like my go-to so i did a video on this if you haven't seen it i'll link it down below but it's kind of like a mini review so i picked up the glow super gel and this is in the shade sun glow love this it just gives my skin the perfect glow like you guys if you watch that video like you'll see that my feelings are still the same about these products they're just so good and they feel good on your skin they literally just feel like skincare products and then the slip tint which is our tinted moisturizer is just bomb so hands down a favorite definitely gonna be like a holy grail of mine i feel like it actually I don't know honestly I like it so much better than the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer which was one of my go-to tinted moisturizers but this is like a for real tinted moisturizer it just looks good on my skin and I mean it's crazy too because I always look at the shade and I'm like oh, this doesn't even look like it's gonna be my perfect shade it doesn't even look like it matches my skin but when it's on it looks so so good I'm just gonna be repetitive but so so good so i'm in this shade number six for the tinted moisturizer and it's perfect honestly my next beauty favorite is this sephora um clean lip gloss what is this called i always forget what it's called it's called the clean glossy lip oil so good i love this it's in the shade tamarind and this is like the perfect nude lip oil it's so comfortable on the lips it lasts a pretty good amount of time i've noticed that it does kind of wear off especially like by the end of my video it's not as shiny but it's still on your lips and it just feels really nice and moisturizing and i just love everything about it i love the shade that it's just like a perfect nude for my skin tone um and it kind of makes my lips feel a little bit more plump so i've been really enjoying this and i've kind of been leaning more towards like 
lip oils and glosses and stuff like that because um over lipsticks just because of the whole you know mask situation which is totally fine so i feel comfortable with wearing a gloss or a lip oil under a mask you know because it's really not messing it up or anything like that you don't have to worry about color things like that so i've been loving that one it's such great quality it's very affordable sephora has some amazing products the sephora collection they have a lot of really good things so that is it for my february favorite pretty short and sweet i think full of a lot of essential basic staple items that i've just been loving so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was fun seeing what i have been loving i really love favorites videos because you know these items are really good to people and i feel like you can always find some really good items watching favorite videos so i'm curious what you guys have been loving and drop them in the comments below hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe i upload every wednesday and sunday and lastly don't forget to follow me on instagram so thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys next time bye